Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some raw clarified butter. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, raw dairy products have a higher nutrient content as well as more beneficial bacteria and enzymes than its pasteurized alternative. Now, the problem here is to make clarified butter, aka ghee, we have to heat the butter to a certain temperature to melt it in order to separate the milk protein from the milk liquid to the butter fat. And this can actually be done at a raw temperature. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the melting point of butter is. I think it's between 90 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But in order to keep a product raw, all we really have to do is keep it below about 110. And in this case, we're actually going to keep it at 105 degrees in a dehydrator for a couple hours so we can then clarify it while still maintaining the integrity of the raw product. Now, if you're thinking, well, I don't have access to raw butter, this is still a technique that can be utilized for making clarified butter, regardless of whether you want the product to be raw in the end or not. Here I have the nice, deep yellow colored unsalted butter. I'm going to put all of this in a pot. Now I'm gonna take this down to my dehydrator. The reason I use a dehydrator here is because it's much easier to control the temperature. The temperature on this goes below 105 degrees. You know, we could warm this up at 95 degrees. So it can remain a raw product the entire time. Now, can you do this on a stove? You might be able to if you put it on a very low heat and constantly stir it but it would be much more labor intensive and it would take quite a while to do that. So thankfully all we have to do here is set the dehydrator on about 100 degrees and just let it go. Now this usually does take a couple hours and it's important to keep in mind that if we put this on 100 degrees, that doesn't mean the butter is gonna get to 100 degrees. That just means that the temperature of the machine will go up to 100 degrees. So the temperature of the actual food is going to be a bit lower. All right, so it's been about three hours and our butter appears to be melted for the most part. Now, I'm gonna bring this upstairs, but we wanna be very careful not to disturb the milk protein at the bottom while we bring it up. Okay, so here I have a strainer with some cheesecloth that is over a glass bowl. If we look at the butter, we could see there's some milk proteins on top, but most of them are on the bottom. The ones that have floated to the surface will get caught by the strainer, but we have to be careful about the ones on the bottom because some of those are liquid and they will pass through the strainer. So when we pour this, we wanna kind of pour off the top and leave the bottom in the pot. Okay, so I've poured most of the butter that's on top off, but as we can see, there's still a few tablespoons here that are trapped with the milk proteins and liquids. And now if we take a look at our strainer, there are the milk solids that were on top. They are caught in the cheesecloth and the strainer. So the milk proteins that are still in the pot, as you can see, there's a fair bit of liquid in here too. So I'm gonna put this in a jar and what we can do with this jar is put it back in the dehydrator. And since we have a narrower container, we can let the butter fat rise to the top and then scrape it off. Even after we've strained this mixture, it's almost impossible to remove the entirety of the milk proteins. If you see on the bottom, there's still a couple drops of that. And the way we can alleviate this is we could restrain it one more time going into the jar. So now what's gonna happen is all of the remaining milk proteins, whatever tiny percentage is left in here, they're all going to sink to the bottom. So I'm gonna pour the rest of this off into a bowl through another fine strainer and just be mindful to try to strain out all of the milk protein. You can see some, some white specks at the bottom of the bowl that we eliminated by doing this again. Hopefully some of you can utilize this for anyone that has access to raw butter but is allergic to the milk protein or has been avoiding it for some reason. Maybe this will give you confidence in the rawness of the product as well as the removal 
of any possible inflammatory factors. Hey, maybe you don't have raw butter, but you'd like to make your own clarified butter. You can utilize this technique the same way, minimally heating it, or maybe even heating it up a little bit more to quicken up the process. But either way, we have a very beautiful and delicious source of nutrition. And you know, for me, one of the only high quality fats that I really have access to is uh, raw grass-fed butter and I am allergic to it so by clarifying it I have a product with which I am confident in the nutrient density of it yes I can go buy you know grain finished bone marrow I can buy some lamb fat that's shipped from Australia but for me the quality of the food and the nutrient density is what I strive to achieve and this helps me do that so all I usually do with this fat is put it on my meat after I cook it or I consume it with the raw meat. I just don't like spending all this time making a raw product and then heating it. I have beef tallow and other rendered fats that I can use for actually cooking the meat if need be. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support me, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys wanna check out my Amazon shop, I have a bunch of products on there from cod liver oil to supplements. If any of you guys are on Instagram or Twitter, I would love it if you could drop me a follow. And outside of that, if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to increasing the nutrient density of your diet and lifestyle in general, feel free to reach out to me via the contact form on my website or via email frankatefano at gmail.com. Speaking of my website, I did just come out with some hygiene products about two weeks ago. So if you guys are interested in tooth powder, deodorant, lip balm, or moisturizing cream, definitely check that out, frank-defano.com under the shop tab.